Hello everyone, it's Tyler with My Computer Works here. We're coming at you with another tutorial video. Today we're going to be talking about how to use these little QR codes. Now, some of you out there may be familiar with these. If you're not, these are basically these little tiny codes that'll sometimes be on things like this card. Uh, if somebody's trying to share maybe like their business website or, um, you know, a nonprofit organization will share a, a site or maybe a church organization, they'll use QR codes on things like cards or flyers or banners or posters. In addition to that, uh, they're used quite frequently now in like restaurants. I know a few restaurants that I go to uh, don't really have menus that they hand out. They just kind of have these QR codes on the table, which you scan with your phone. It's a great way for the businesses to, you know, obviously cut down the cost of the business by not having to put out menus. So they'll use things like these QR codes. Or if you're just trying to share something, they could be a great way. I, even small websites out there, maybe like a band is going to be doing, uh, you know, a show or something, and they're trying to share that information with the public. They might print out a poster with one of these QR codes, which then can be scanned by, again, like I said, our smartphones. If we use our phone, to scan these QR codes, it will take us to the place we're trying to go. And usually an iPad or, or other tablet devices will also work with these QR codes, okay? Because all it's basically doing is uh, this information, what the QR code is, is actually some way of the computer relaying that information and then using it. And by computer, I mean your phone or tablet. Just remember, these are, these are small computer-like devices scans that and then reads that information and takes you to again either like a website or an app from an app store right like our phone iphone has app store um google phones uh sorry android phones i should say have the google play store right so inside of there sometimes these will just take you over to like an application that somebody's trying to get you to download to your phone or tablet device okay so all you got to do it's very simple here i'm going to pull up on screen some um ex uh, an example for you to see so i'm going to use my phone and i'm going to open up my camera application on my phone okay and once i have that open i hold the qr code up to where the the phone can actually see it okay and i'm actually getting i'm going to turn so you can see i'm actually getting like this little yellow dialog box and i'm going to show that um not just here on screen you know that through the camera here but you can see that on screen there yellow dialog box and once that pops up i'm going to tap that with my finger which is then going to take me to the website that they were trying to get me to go to so um, that's what the qr code is used for you just simply scan it with your camera you don't take the picture that's a mistake a lot of people will make they'll accidentally actually take the picture that's not the goal the goal is just to get it nicely inside the frame so it can see it and once the yellow dialog box pops up or whatever uh, box is going to pop up, pops up, we tap on it with our finger and off we go to wherever the QR code was supposed to take us, okay? Now some notes on QR code safety. I don't recommend that you just scan any QR code out there. You wanna make sure that if you're gonna scan a QR code, you understand where it's taking you to and you make sure that the source of where it's coming from is going to be a safe one right you don't want to just be scanning i see sometimes random posters out and about with with qr codes uh, that could be a safety concern obviously if it's taking you somewhere malicious or uh, to try to get you to download an app that might be not great for your phone or something that you don't really need just remember everybody's always trying to market and promote so uh depending you know you, don't, you might not want to scan everything for that purpose and then again the malicious aspect um they are figuring out, you know, hackers and code writers out there who are who have malicious intent are constantly working on trying to use those QR codes for, for malicious purposes, right? So it take you off to a bad website, scam you. There's already been kind of case examples of things that they can do similar to that, but things are just going to get worse over time as uh, the QR codes become more popular, right? Because uh, I notice a lot of people just seem to now take their phone out and scan those things without a second thought. So make sure you know what the QR code is, where it's taking you, is it safe, is it trusted, is it something you know is gonna be okay? And if so, just like you saw in the example, take out, your, take out your phone, point it at it, don't take the picture, just tap the link, 
And there you go, right to the information you want to see. So thank you everyone for watching. This has been another tutorial video by My Computer Works. If you need further technical help, reach out to the number at the beginning or the end of the video. It's also down in the description. Uh, we are here for everyone whenever you need us to help you out with your technology needs. Thank you all. Hit that like and subscribe while you're down there. And I'll see you all on the next one.